Jennifer Wright, and I'd like to invite you into a story that starts with a cat food tin and another and another and um, actually quite a lot of cat food tins got involved. In early 2019, I was about to toss one of these into the recycling bin, like I did two or three times every day. When I stopped to appreciate it, it suddenly struck me how crazy it was that this marvelous thing was something that people just threw away. That same week, I learned that only 9% of the world's plastics were being recycled, and other materials weren't faring much better. The rest? dumped somewhere, where the junk footprint generated by my life, and even my cat's lives, would outlive us by a thousand years. I wanted to know exactly how much damage I was inadvertently causing. I didn't know where it would lead, but I started saving these, and all my other trash as well. Every day, as I taught piano lessons, I looked at my students and thought about the world they have inherited. My childhood was relatively free of worries about climate change, but their lives are already being shaped and defined by it. They are growing up in the midst of the greatest danger humankind has ever faced. I thought for a long time about how we could make the music and culture we love serve a larger purpose and help prepare us all for the battle that is to come. Is it a trash thing with you? I love it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. That Phoenix Project, was that? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a bird that's for reborn. Oh my gosh, this is so I challenged my students to create an army of transmogrified instruments, or TIs, larger-than-life, playable art sculptures that expressed their feelings about climate change. There were only four rules. Number one, they had to be made completely out of trash and recycling. Number two, to reflect our carbon footprints, they had to be at least as big as our own bodies. Number three, they had to be able to be broken down and recycled at the end of their lives. Number four, they had to be unlike anything the world had ever seen. Nice one, Amber. I like it. <laughs> Together, we would create a massive performance piece, the battle cry of the Phoenix, a call to action for humans to rise from the ashes and invent an age of true sustainability. All of us, age five to adult, embarked on a remarkable journey to understand how garbage was harming our world and to discover what artistic potential might be hidden inside it. You can. Oh, that actually sounds really nice. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we researched, experimented, developed a plan of attack. We've discovered that this is just the bomb-proof, incredibly solid way to... Whoops! <laughs> we collected, scavenged, washed, sorted. We got really excited about trash. We've got lots of containers, like this one, just plastics and that nice blue thing. So these will work well. Lots of little stuff. And we've also got some flat stuff. Make some good crinkly noises. Very cool. I decided how to use the hundreds of cat food tins I had collected. One by one, over many months, I cut the cans into various shapes and hammered each piece by hand.
these feathers would come together as a wearable percussion instrument in the form of a shiny coat of armor, the phoenix itself. My name is Annika Blackman, and this is my piece. It is supposed to resemble an iceberg and it's made of styrofoam. Hi, my name is David Blackman. I am making a transmogrified instrument out of e-waste. I'm Maya, and I'm making a plastic mangrove tree to depict how our ignorance and inaction towards climate change is detrimental to all our world's ecosystems. Hi, I'm Liam, and this is my TI project. This is a large frame on the outside. It's taller than me. We were adventurous, creative, silly. All of our favorite things. It's hot. Uh, it is hot glue. I burnt my finger. I don't want to crush my hand. Yeah, definitely don't crush your hand. <laughs> like safety first, you know? To build something the world has never seen, we had to learn new skills. Got it! Everyone got involved. Families, neighbors, friends, communities. We all pitched in to create a vision of the future that we want to see. And hear. And boy did we build. Than it looks. I'm actually building the phoenix onto a um, Wonder Woman outfit. There's a little trivia for you. Solomon, I think that's really cool that you picked the color blue for Mother Earth. So what does your red color represent? Um, climate change. There is a special power in multiples. Every repetitive motion was a chance to reflect on the ripples sent out into the world by our consumption of resources. The TIs began to take shape. It used to be this tall, but now it's, it's turning to a masterpiece. The closer you get, the harder it gets. There will never be a quiet minute in your house ever again. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Okay, Dave, give me a progress report. How's it going with your TI? I've added an amplification circuit to the top of it that picks up magnetic signals in the electronics and turns them into sound. We built through two summers of devastating wildfires protest marches, and political rallies, sometimes with the sound of police helicopters flying overhead.
and your mom like has a heart attack. <laughs> Working under these conditions, it was never far from our minds how close we really are to climate catastrophe. How easily the threads connecting us can come undone. But along with their TIs, the Phoenixers were building courage, community, resourcefulness, solution making, thoughtfulness, and hope the qualities they will need to save a livable future. Sounds pretty good. Art can change the viewer, maybe even the world. But the critical thing is that making art changes the artist. That process of self-reflection and growth is the most important thing. You are never the same on the other side. At long last, the TIs are on the march. We will raise our battle cry to the heavens and show how much we believe that humans can change and do better. That we can work together to create a future that is as awesome, unique, and unexpected as the TIs are. This may be the end of life as we know it. 